Look at that rusty thing. We're gonna we're gonna do a half halfway job today of uh, rehanging this because I mean I don't know if you can see, but it just ain't gonna work. I, I got I got this at a garage sale. It's an old true timber rigging axe. So uh, we're just gonna use the same handle, rewedge it. Got some nails in there. I think we can get those out without doing too much damage. We'll get the old wedge out and uh, clean her up. Shove a new wedge in it. We'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, probably gonna be a long longer one today though. So uh, yeah, join me. Now first things first. Whoever had this thing put put quite the edge on it. So this thing's like dull, but sharp in some places, and it's a menace. And I already sliced my hand open on it, like within minutes of getting it, but. Pull them fine uh, pin wedges out. Oh, this is actually going to be fairly easy all right it's the easiest one I've ever done and oh it came out well, that does not look good, but uh, we're going to run it anyway, because we can just clean it up a little bit. It's not, this isn't the proper way to do this, guys. We're just, we're just, we're using the old handle that's with it. Some meat in that thing. Sort of cleaned it up. It's going back on the same shoulder though. Uh, we're gonna clean this head up a bit. Just make it to where it don't look like junk. Well, complete junk. This thing is pretty much junk. No, useful junk. Junk that's not gonna fly off the hammer or the handle. Give it a nice patina. That honestly looks pretty all right to me. But probably gonna throw this thing in my toolbox. And not use it a whole lot. But since it's uh, already been molested. Figured why not.
that uh, is not perfect. Not perfect, but uh, there's a nick right there. Maybe, maybe that's some round stuff. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and hang it. Look at that. It's like the wood coming up on top of it. That's nasty. I couldn't totally let it ride. I just hope I don't take off entirely way too much. Which it may appear that I'm doing that, but. It's gonna crack. It, it's gonna crack there eventually. Our job is just to, you know, get some more life out of it before we decide to go out of the world and buy a new handle. And... Do all that stuff. I mean, it, it's just. It's cramming into it, so we're, we're just going to clean that. We're, we're going to clean that roll up around it and then uh, stick about as fat of a wedge as we can in this thing. Before we get too rowdy with it. Instead of making the move that I always do, let's put a little bit of glue on it first. All right. Then we can go from there. We always overdo it. And I mean, we are set down on that. We're just going to throw her in there blunt force trauma like and uh we don't have our little axe in here so uh we're just gonna take a big axe we're gonna pound this wedge in there i didn't take much god dang See what that does. I know it, it doesn't look good. We're, we're going to hit it with some boiled linseed oil. <laughs> There's just like this crack in the top. But that thing is... It's on there solid, surprisingly. It's a, it's a piece of junk. We're just rolling with it. Okay, we're just going to drown this thing in boiled linseed oil. See what the first thing that happens is. You're not always, you know, if you need it right now or soon. You just, you're not, you're not going to be able to. To just do it. You, you got to make do with some stuff. When you find one of these garage sale pieces like this that still have a handle on it and they're still like kind of halfway usable, try it out. Use it. You you never know. You, you might get you might get another year out of it. You might get six months out of it. But if you're tight on money, you know. Make it work. Just, just make stuff work. I mean, look, look what we've done to this piece of junk. I mean, I, I had a half of a wedge laying around that just, it was perfect for this. Yeah, we got some gaps here. We, it's, it's not perfect, but it's solid. 
and you're, you're not going to break that unless I mean you just over strike over strike it but yeah fill them cracks up like I said this ain't perfect but look at it, it, it it's going to work for the most part obviously with that thing we're going to need a brand new handle with it but I know I'm getting a little blood linseed oil all over my uh, bench here, but you'll have that on them big jobs. Look at that. Brand new life. Brand new life. Do this once a day. Maybe we'll see how long it takes to break this whole thing we, we took something that wasn't usable and we're making it usable rub that into the bench there you know a bunch of people don't really put anything on the bottom when I mean, they do but they don't we're gonna turn this thing up we're just gonna I soak that in there. Let her bleed all over it. Soak into that end grain. Check the top back out because this thing is dry. It it's it's dry, but it's soaking it up. I mean, and it's just stuff that works guys guy clark said it best stuff that holds up prevent that head from rusting any more than it already is going with that patinaed look rubbing it in with a dirty rag because it's what we got look at that got a little on your handle all right put that thing shines now maybe it could shine a little less no it's gonna keep on shining there yeah. now you don't that's dangerous don't do that my fingers got a little too close but that thing is it's a razor I got a wedge. Throw it over there. I guess I could take those and shove those down in there, but we're not gonna get fancy with this thing. Yeah, I'm laying right on my hook. That hurt. But yeah. New life feel. True temper number TFH. TFH, that's not a number. What it says though. But yeah. Feels pretty good in the hands. It's smooth. Do a little sand job on it. It's smooth because it's dry, but you just that ain't that head ain't loose. I think the handle will break before that head comes off. Well, and then the head will come off. But there you have it, folks. Rigging axe is done. Kindling axe now. Not a rigging axe anymore, it's a kindling axe with that edge on it. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. That is how to do with what you've got, how to manage, how to have nicer things when when you can't, you know, when, when you just can't afford it at one point in time and you got it, go with it. It'll hold up longer than you think. I mean, that one's. They don't use that much, but held up quite a long time. Probably going to use that one more, but it's just how, how to get by, getting by with what you got. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. As always, it's a pleasure doing this stuff. If you like what we're doing, uh, 
like and subscribe. Go watch the other videos. If you like just doing random things. Those are words that's, uh, that's all I do over here. It's just random things. So you never know what we're gonna be doing next. Y'all guys take care and have a good night.